live from Apex, North Carolina, the peak of good living. This is the opening round of the New South Athletic Conference Tournament. Our thoroughbreds take on the Centurions of Carolina Christian College. My name is Craig Green coming to you live from Hope Community Church Arena in the Pex. It's win or go home with a spot in the semifinals at stake. The winner of tonight's game will face the top-seeded Apprentice Builders this Saturday in the semifinals at 4 o'clock from the Apprentice Athletic Center in Newport News, Virginia. Ball goes up and it's basketball time in Apex. New South Athletic Conference Tournament starts right now. Boy, out to the basket and slams it home. Peasy. Here's Brooks. Ellis for three. No good. Malik Nong with the rebound. Third breads pushing. Here's Ben. Jumper. You know. Shot clock. Benton. Outside Malik Nong. Eight on the shot clock. Whoa, yak. Deep three. Back rim. Backboard, no good. Ends up in the hands of Jaquan Majet. Reed rises, fires, and hits and ties the game. Whoa, yak. Drives to the basket. That pass deflected. Can he get it back? He does. Keeps possession. Malik Nong, ball fake, goes up, gets the layup. Malik Nong puts the thoroughbreds back in front. Gators calling a play. Jaquan Majet out to his brother Javion. Ball fake, Reed. Javion loses the ball. Nice steal by Barry Enos. Tenacious D by the thoroughbreds. Pass up court. Knocked out of bounds by the Gators. It's going to be thoroughbreds ball. Inbound pass. That ball's up and good. Bucket, bruises, and the whole enchilada for Sam Benton Jr. Using the three foundational pillars of faith, purpose, and trust, Blue Lights College wants to build an unbreakable bond between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Please visit bluelightscollege.org to learn more. And as always, donations are welcome. So we've got about a minute and a half left till halftime. We'll take a quick commercial break. Be back with the second half action right after this on the Thoroughbreds Sports Network. Yo, what you doing? Big Sports TV is on the air. Welcome to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, the campus of NC Wesleyan University. Today's matchup is for the NC ISAA. State Championship Division 1A between the Pungo Christian Academy Raiders and their opponents, the Halifax Academy Vikings. The stakes at hand today. If Pungo wins this game, they wrap up the championship for themselves. However, if Halifax comes away with the victory, there will be a second game this afternoon to determine the champion. My name is Craig Green. Bring you the play-by-play -play with my broadcast partner, Mr. James Williams. And as we see here, both lineups are being announced. The Vikings are coming out right now. And James, we have an interesting matchup between two teams that are actually they're they're uh, they're academies, so they have 
uh, K through 12, there's actually eighth graders on both teams. It's an interesting dynamic when you have a mix of essentially middle schoolers with high school seniors on each team. Yeah, Craig, it's definitely a different mix from what we see traditionally at the high school level. But you got to also remember, a lot of these girls have been playing throughout their entire lives. So we're not losing anything when we come to the skill department here with these two face it off, especially with two stored academy programs. And they're really looking at a lot of girls who have been playing ball for a long time. So when we talk about the skill department, what we can expect in this game today, it's not going to be a runaway train by any means. It's going to be a highly contested game between two battle-tested teams we have today. If you have Rutledge coming up, I don't care what the situation is. I'm giving her the green light say, hey, you know what you can do. I know what you can do. Everybody out here knows what you can do. She gets a great piece of one right there. And you have to give her the green right. You have to let you have to let your big dogs eat. It's a plain way to put it. You have to let your big dogs eat. And now it's a great spot for Rutledge to try to get it going. Yes, correction there. You're right. Melanie Rutledge to the plate. And Rutledge to the plate. That's a deep center field. That's and right. adios means sayonara. <laughs> Melanie Rutledge with a drive to deep center field. And Moochie is going to be very, very happy with that. 5-3 Raiders. Afternoon. Welcome to Raleigh, North Carolina, as the Raleigh Firebirds look to match up against the Georgia Soul, who is two games ahead, three games ahead of the Raleigh Firebirds. I'm Petey Doris. Craig Green standing in next to me. Craig, welcome aboard. Petey, it's great to be back with you, and I hope everybody out there had a happy holiday weekend, and it's great to be back for some Firebirds basketball. Yeah, Craig, two weeks off here for the Raleigh Firebirds. Had an all-star break in uh, Lehigh Valley. So uh, Firebirds brought home one one uh, championship belt, the, the three-point contest, went to uh, Daquan Antoine. And deservedly so. Daquan Antoine is one of the biggest sharpshooters in the league. He caught fire in Lehigh Valley. And now the league is on notice about what our guy, Daquan, can do. Welcome back inside Word of God Christian Academy. 46-33, Raleigh Firebirds trail by 13. And Craig, during the break, he said one good stat. Go ahead with it. Two of 12 from three-point range for the Raleigh Firebirds. They started off this quarter one of 10 shooting in the, from the field uh, before they got a couple of baskets to fall. But they were leading the rebounding edge. Now they're getting out-rebounded by a smaller team, and they're not shooting the ball very well as they, when they started hot. And now it's just completely cold. I mean, this game's made a complete 180. And now the Georgia Solar up by 13 on the road after literally getting here 20 minutes before the game started. The Georgia Solar has not caught herself in this predicament much this season. Vaughn straight to the bucket. Collins spin around. Draco for three. Brrr! When do you need him? When you need him, he's there. Draco Palmer. He's heating up. And listen to this crowd, Petey. Crowd is getting electric. Rogers drives. Kenny let him go straight to the hole. 110-94. 6.36 left. Firebirds are in good position right now. Step back three, ice. Coffee is for closers, and I'm telling you at halftime, Draco Palmer drink a whole pot. Listen to these firebirds, they're fired up. 113 to 94. Firebirds up by 19. From the third quarter to now, Petey, 66 points for the Firebirds to just to that. Yeah, <laughs> to 41. 
We've said it before, when the Firebirds get hot, when good things happen for them and bad things happen for the opponent, it, they turn it to a long afternoon for the other team. And right now, the Georgia Soul have just been reeling. Two away. Now, the Raiders are one out away from securing the championship and bringing it back home to Bellhaven. Off speed Off pitch, speed. strike one. That's a great pitch right there by Stoop. Froze the eighth grader. I think the eighth grader has some type of idea that's coming. She definitely would have unloaded on it. She like she wants that one back. But Stoop goes ahead early. Peyton Odom, strike two, fouls that one off. It comes down to that bat. <coughs> the Raiders are one strike away. One strike away right here for Stoop and the rest of Pongo. For the base front of the House Academy, you got to think anything. We're moving. Anything remotely close to contact, we're moving. Swing and a miss. And that is that. It's going to be a party at Pongo as the Raiders have won the state championship. Final score at NC Wesleyan. Pongo Christian 5. Halifax Academy 4. Mucci is going to be one happy lizard on the way back home to Bellhaven. Now, no shame in Halifax. They had an outstanding season. They gave it their all. They came ready and prepared. But at the end of the day, it was Coach Stoops' team that pulled it out. And the winners and new state champions are the Pungo Christian Academy Raiders out of Bellhaven, North Carolina. So that's going to do it for us here at NC Wesleyan. For our executive producer, Jay Bell, for our entire staff, and my co-host, Mr. James Williams, for our entire crew and for me to you, this is Craig Green saying thank you for tuning in to the NCISAA Division 1A Softball Championship on Big Sports TV. Sayonara and buenos noches. Here's Cook running the baseline. Three, there's two. Willis puts it up for three. No good. And that is that. We've got a winner in Apex. This one belongs to the Thoroughbreds. Final score from Hope Community Church Arena. Thoroughbreds, 106. Virginia University of Lynchburg, 101. We'll be back with some final words after this on the Thoroughbred Sports Network. score tonight 106 101 to the thoroughbreds halftime of this game thoroughbreds led by 10 51 41 second half saw the dragons outscore blc 60 to 55 they made it a contest late in the final 20 seconds with a few technical free throws a steal Got it down to within three, but then the Thoroughbreds got a couple of clutch free throws at the end by Wol Yak to close the show. Thoroughbreds hang on 106-101. And we'll head into Chapel Hill with a record of 3-3 three and three on the season. So I hope you will join us for our next broadcast on Tuesday, January 17th as the Thoroughbreds take on Central International College in a New South Athletic Conference matchup. Tip-off is set for 6.30 right here on the Thoroughbred Sports Network. Special thanks to Captain Jacques Gilbert, Mr. Roderick Warren, and SAC Commissioner Mike Davis, and the entire staff at Hope Community Church in Apex. And for our entire crew and from me to you, this is Craig Green saying thanks for tuning in to Blue Lights College Basketball on the Thoroughbred Sports Network. Sayonara! And Buenos Noches.